Hey guys, welcome to the Hacked Existence demo of the Injectal Hide. So this is a USB implant that was recently released and the entire thing is on GitHub. It's all open source from the schematics to the board, all the chips that go onto it, the code that goes onto the chips, the code that runs the C2. The whole thing is open source. And there's a couple really neat things about this implant, specifically the XB radio that it uses for C2 and communication. Uh, as well as some of the neat things they do with PowerShell utilizing the USB bus. So let's jump in and look at a demo and then we'll talk a little bit more about how it works. All right, so for our demo setup, we have a Windows Surface that's going to be our victim. It's already got the Injectal Hide plugged into the USB bus here. And over here, I have a Logitech unifying receiver that's hooked up to this keyboard. So this will work with any kind of wireless keyboard dongle or a wired keyboard all the same. Our attacker machine is just a Kali Linux laptop running the SparkFun XB dongle, and the C2 is just a Python script that uses the XB dongle to communicate to the implant. So at this point, I've gone through all the initialization and activation. I've discovered the implant and activated it. So now I'm ready to go to option five, which is sniff keystrokes live and select my implant. And now on the victim computer, I'll do Windows R, Notepad, and this is some text. So you can see as I'm typing here on the victim machine, those keystrokes are popping up live in real time on the C2. So just as you'd expect with any implant that's capable of man in the middling your keyboard connection, the injectile hide can log all the keystrokes to the micro SD card, which you can then later pull off via the XB radio. It's capable of live keystroke monitoring, as I just showed you, as well as keystroke injection, and you can load USB rubber ducky style scripts onto the micro SD and activate them from the C2. All right, so the next attack that we'll look at is option 13. It's receive files from a w Windows victim file system, and it uses PowerShell. And basically our target is going to be this secret.txt file on the desktop here. Inside it says this is a secret password. So we'll start this attack by selecting 13 from our menu, choosing our implant. And now the file name with the extension, I'll give the full file path to that extension on the remote host. And locally we'll call it secret.txt. And now over here you're going to see the PowerShell fire off. And here we can see we've received the file. So now if we come over here to our file system, we can see this secret.txt just popped up and it says this is a secret password. So the way that PowerShell works is it pulls that file, but it loops it back through the COM port so that it can get out to the board here and then XB over to RC2. So that file's not leaving out through the internet or going through a proxy or Wi-Fi or Bluetooth or anything like that. It's being routed through the COM port over XB to RC2. So it's a pretty neat concept. It's definitely gonna make detection a whole lot harder. All right, so the last attack that I'm gonna show you guys takes kind of two parts. We're gonna do 14 for launch attack from script from our implant. And I have this reverse.txt already loaded on the SD card, and what you're gonna see is some PowerShell fire, fire off here. And what that just did is launched a PowerShell shell that bound to the COM port that we can now control over XB. So now if I fire up 16, which is connect to interactive PowerShell terminal on this implant, I can now start issuing PowerShell commands that will traverse from the XB radio over XB to the implant and then loop back on the COM port there and execute inside of PowerShell. So if I do DIR, and then I can CD desktop, and now I can do a DIR here again, and we can see secret.txt. So that's how we would have discovered the full file path to secret.txt to pull off using the other menu option. So all in all, this thing is really powerful. We have a reverse PowerShell shell that's running over XB through a COM port. All right, so what did it take to get this thing up and running? Well, I started with the SparkFun XB dongle. You plug that into a machine capable of running Python, satisfy a few Python dependencies, and you've got yourself a C2. So because the schematics for the board are online on the GitHub, it would definitely be possible to design this to be implanted inside of a keyboard or a docking station or something like that. But the two revisions of the board I have here lend themselves to being plugged in in line between a keyboard going into the female USB socket and the victim machine with the male USB socket. So one of the major drawbacks of the XB radio is that you have to be within RF range to operate it. But one of the benefits of XB is that it operates as a mesh network. So the more of these you deploy, the wider your RF range becomes. 
Additionally, XP has built-in encryption for communications between radios, so even if you were to detect and sniff the RF coming off of these radios, you would still have to defeat the encryption in order to see exactly what was going on. So by adding a micro SD card, you add storage, which gives you the ability to log things and execute things from storage. And overall, this thing rolls up into a nice little package with a lot of potential. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, this definitely seems like a fun device to play with. It's going to be really hard to detect and prevent. Check out Injectal Hide on GitHub. And as always, stay tuned and thanks for watching.